Joshua, who the hell anointed Bill Maher as the supposed adult liberal? I certainly didn't. He has become insufferable. Yeah, HBO did. If Milo tells you that you're the only good liberal, that should cause a serious self-introspection. What is this need from the left to seek validation from the right? That is a great question. And by the and just and validation from people who dem, who suck. Like if there is any part of you that feels the need for like Milo or Ann Coulter or some computer programmer that named themselves after some ancient warlord and doesn't like feminism and does videos on the internet. Like, if you feel a need to get those people's approval, you have serious work to do on yourself psychologically and emotionally. If Dave Rubin said I was smart, that would cause a bigger shock to my self-confidence than anything that has ever happened to me. Like, what the fuck am I doing wrong? And Milo, let me give you my brief breakdown of Milo. He is unbelievably boring. That's basically it. He's an emotionally needy pseudo-intellectual who found an incredibly easy audience to basically say, like, I'm your idea of cool, which I forget who said this, but it's like 2004 H&M, which is a perfect description. And... I, and ironically, for a guy who's always blathering about identity politics, insofar as he even understands what that is, he says, uh, you know, I'm the gay guy who is transphobic or whatever. It's, it's fucking boring. And then what, the whole, his whole career is made bitching and whining that he can't go on college campuses. And literally all he does is tour college campuses, get sponsored by hostile virgins, and then he goes up there rants and raves and then yes probably some stupid undergraduates go and overreact to his disgustingness not not actually at berkeley that was a whole other thing but they go and they show up and they yell at him and they say he's an asshole which he is and then he goes oh you're a moron and then these other you know it's, it's the whole thing is just honestly sorry to say this sad well and it was also said that he got a book deal in the first place because yes i mean and it is hilarious that it got canceled it and is hilarious there's no concern that he was going to be a martyr i remember when it dropped at like the end of last year that he got a book deal and people are like don't get it canceled because then he's going to be a martyr this guy's not talented like yeah. you can't name the most uh his most significant piece of work because there is nothing he doesn't write anything yeah. i've i tried i read the thing that f that forced me to finally be like all right fine i'll fucking read something by milo when when he set off when he when he instigated all those you know uh, basement dwellers to harass Leslie Jones, so I said like, okay fine, I'll read his Ghostbusters review. Fine, fine, okay. It's I'm in a weird enough position in life where it is literally part of my job to some extent to read this moron's Ghostbusters review. And you know what? He doesn't even. I was reading it, and the whole time I was like, Ann Coulter is such a better writer than this guy. Like, I don't even under... It wasn't even, like, basic, solid, flowing dickishness. And then and then it's like... and then He's a performance artist, really. But not even. And, and, and then he runs around, like, as if he thinks that there... He came up with some incredible novelty. It's like, I'm a gay guy who says awful stuff. Okay, like, I, well, it's easy to see this why hustle's they would like been that, run, though, right? Yeah, of course, because like. they're morons too. Oh, of course, <laughs> because they're idiots too. But I think that, like, you know, I, I the one that I did see him on overtime with Mar, and I, you know, Bill Mar is whatever, you know, Bill Bill Mar, but Bill Mar says to him at some point, and granted, Henry Kissinger ended his or Christopher Hitchens, and that's a great Floridian <laughs> slip. Christopher Hitchens ended his life as a drunk neocon whose writing skills had depreciated markedly, right? He is undisputably an inc a very talented writer, a wit, and someone who knew and traveled the globe, right? Yeah, the fuck are we comparing him to Milo? Bill Maher said, you're like a young hitch. 
And I was sitting there and I was like, I, oh, yeah, I was like, that. what the, f- I, I don't like Christopher Hitchens. And I was like, dude, are you out of your fucking mind? And this is how, this is how crazy our media environment is that 10 years ago or how, or seven, not even 10, he didn't die, he died in like 2010, 2011. I was in college and I could be like that asshole, Christopher Hitchens, you know, look, he's become such a, a jerk, right? But he was still Christopher Hitchens, and that was got reading. Milo. Yeah. Are you f- kidding me? And of course he can't come back. And that's another thing. It's only liberals that go, "Oh, but don't want that just make it worse." Conservatives never sit around and say, "Hey, if we um elect an orange-faced sexual assaulter uh, for uh, the Republican nomination, won't that just make liberals more mad?" <laughs> Hey, if we bring a talentless pseudo performance artist hack to come to our uh, college and uh, insult transgender people, won't that just make liberals more entrenched in their worldview? They don't do that because they don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck either. I'm glad he lost his contract. I hope he ends up homeless. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Over. Subscri- subscribe.